Hey guys, this is your boy Dino here and welcome back to another video on Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. <coughs> I know guys, it's been a while. I've been, you know, I've been playing this, don't get me wrong, I have been playing this, but I've been focusing on much more other games like Dokken Battle and what off. Um, so yeah guys, um, today we're gonna go at another shot in the Neo Impact uh, packs guys, because... I've got, I've, I ended up getting a UI in Ultimate Rising, I got a UI in Flame of the Tyrant. Uh, so the two card boxes that I don't have a UI, I didn't get a UI yet, it's Age of Discovery and Neo Impact. And Neo Impact has also been the one that's given me less luck. Because, not even, not even when it comes to UIs, just cards in general, I don't get that much. Like my luck on it isn't that good. So I'm gonna test my luck again. And see what I can get from this. Um, this 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 card looks so good though. I'm not gonna lie. Galandoff, King of Destruction. He looks really strong. Um, Ritual of Destruction. Okay. Yeah, Divine Grace, North Remco. Yeah, these UAs look um, pretty useful. You can use two tributes. This can be treated as two tribute cards for a dark monster. So if you have a dark monster that you can that you need to tribute someone, you can just use this and it's done. Just one card need for, for two. So I would love to get some good cards from this. Mirror I heard Mirror War is awesome. Yeah, okay. Doing each of your standby phases, pay two thousand HP and destroy this card. Oh, okay. Okay, this is this is not a bad card as well. So I'm gonna go ahead. Right, let's see what Oh wow, okay. Wow, that looks good. Black Pendant. Stamping Destruction. Half Shuts. But its attack is halved until the end of phase. Wow. These, there's some really good cards here, so I'm gonna go ahead. Let's see if I have the luck, guys. Let's see if I have the luck. Let's see. Oh, three Karibos from the start, guys. Three Karibos. Not bad. Oh, Kaiba. Soul Demolition Track Card. Huh. Okay, pay 500 life points to use this effect. Well players select one monster card from the opponent's graveyard. Oh, that seems pretty interesting. Release Restraint Wave. Okay. Alright, let's start from the start, guys. Wow, that's amazing. Jelly. Well, sorry, Jerry. A bean soldier believes he's the strongest warrior in the world, but his true abilities are still untested. Wow, look at that attack though. That's a, that's a decent attack, but defense, wow. That's really bad defense right there. <laughs> wow, it's off from the start, guys. I will take... I will take it, guys. <laughs> okay. Wow, what is this? Okay. Could this be it guys? Could this be where my luck turns around and get some actual good cards from this um, event? Alright, let's see. Scanner. Yeah. This is really good because whoever monster you choose from your opponent, opponent's uh, deck, they'll be treated as the same card. This will be treated as the same card as the one that you've chosen in your opponent's deck. That means whatever stats they have, this card will have as well. So yeah, that's that's really good. Fuin Kazan. Fuin Kazan. There's an, if when they are face up wind, water, fire, and earth monsters on the field, apply one of these effects. Destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Destroy all spell and trap cards your opponent controls. Discard two random cards from your opponent's hand, and or draw two cards. Wow! Look at this trap card. This trap card looks pretty damn good. Sasuke, Sa it's a Sasuke, Sasuke, oh Sasuke, yeah, that's how you spell Sasuke, right? Is that how you say Sasuke or Sasuke? Is that do you say a Sasuke or Sasuke? I'm used to saying Sasuke from Naruto, so Sasuke Samurai. <laughs> okay, fair enough. At the start of the damage step, if this card attacks a face down defense position monster, destroy that face down monster. Wow. So despite what attack, what defense they have, wow, that's really good. That's well good, guys. That's well good. That, that that's not bad. That's actually not bad, guys. All right. Kaiba again, a third time. That might not mean much, but 
Rusi, send one of the monster on your side of the field and send it to the graveyard. Increase your life points by an equal amount to the original attack of that monster. Wow. On our side, but so we have to send a card from our side that's on the field right now to the graveyard. And whatever attack stats they had, that will be added to our health points. That's pretty damn good. That's actually really good. That would come in useful in desperate situations, of course. Another trap card. Tribute one monster, add one monster with the same original type that should be on level over a different original name from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Painful Escape. Common Charity. Three trap cards in a row. I just realized that. Wow. Draw two cards, then remove from play one normal monster card from your hand. If you don't have any monster, normal monster cards in your hand to remove, send all the cards to your hand to your graveyard. Okay, interesting. Alright. A major upset. Yeah, I got this one already. Oh, I just got this card, didn't I? Why did it say new then? Okay. Nutria Dragonfly. Yeah, I'm, I have this one already. Yep. Alright. What happened? If this card is added from your deck to your hand by a card effect, he can special summon this card. If this card is added, if this card is added from your deck to your hand by a card effect, he can special summon this card. Hmm. I'm not think I'm following that one. I'm not sure what that one's about. But anyways, treaty on uniform nomenclator. Nomenclator. Oh, <laughs> Sorry if my pronunciation is wrong, guys. Trap card again. Wow. You control two or more face-up monsters with the same name except tokens. Apply this effect depending on how many you control. Exactly two. Destroy one spell trap. Destroy all spell traps if it's exactly three. And Machine King. This card gains 100 attack for each machine type monster on the field. Pretty damn good. Alright. Fooing Kazan. Okay, we just got that. Cry Havoc. Havoc. So we got that. Nutri Nutria Strawberry. Yes, we did get this. Alright. We got two good SRs right there from the start. That was, you know, I can, I can, I would take that. I'll take two SRs. I have never got an SR in this packs as well. All of my multi summons so far in this packs has been rares and normals. So the fact that I'm getting, I got two two super rares is an achievement in itself. Unless I got one, I just can't remember because I haven't had much luck in it, so I didn't do much on this. Patrol Robo. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. White Dragon Ritual. Paladin of White Dragon. Oh, that's what you use to Ritual Summon, the Paladin of White Dragon, okay. And it needs to be equal to 4 stars, alright. Ally of Justice, Clausulus. Jesus Christ. Look at this, man. Look at this. This has some pretty good... Uh, toes. Oh, my. Okay, I would have been a bit convinced if it was rainbow colors coming out, but it's blue. And there's writing behind as well, so I don't know what this is. This could be something. This could be something, guys, for all I know. YG. All light monsters you control gain 100% attack. 100 attack for each light monster in your graveyard. During your end phase, destroy one light monster you control. There only can be one YG on the field. Okay. The kick man. Oh my... <laughs> yes! Oh my god! That was the one that I said I want. I literally, at the start of the video, I said I would love to get double cost custom because, oh my god. I just got double custom, guys. That was one of the cards I actually said that I would love to get. Ah, screenshot that, screenshot that. Oh wow, that's amazing, guys. And their attack and defense stats look pretty decent as well. They're not weak or anything and then this can be used as two cards to tribute summon a dark monster wow i did not expect it i did not expect to get that i did not expect to get that guys what the hell <laughs> all right all right that's my first view off of this pack 
from this Neo Impact pack at least. Kick fire. Right, a trap card, a game. Place one counter on this card for each destroyed fire monster. During each during either player standby phase, you send this card to the graveyard, inflict a thousand damage to the opponent for each counter on this card. Jesus Christ. That's a lot guys. Elemental Dragon. Not bad. How many is that? I got I can't remember how many I've done so far. Patrol Robo, we got that. Meteor Dragon, we did get that. And Elemental Dragon. Yep, we just got that. Wow guys! Wow, that's my first UR from the Neo Impact packs. From the summoning box Neo Impact. This is my first UR. That actually that actually makes oh wow. So two two super rares and one ultra rare on the Neo Neo Impact you know card box because I've never got an SR or UR on it. For sure I haven't never got a UR on it. SRs I'm not quite sure but wow. Look at this. Jelly Beans Man, Sasuke Samurai, and to finish it off, where's that beauty? Where is that beauty? <laughs> Double cost then guys, wow! I cannot believe I, I actually got it. I can't believe I actually got Double cost then. That was one of the cards I actually wanted from the UR list. Wow, okay. So I guess I'm going to just leave this right here guys, wow this is amazing, so thank you so much for watching this video, you know what, I'll show you my deck before I finish guys, you guys will probably be curious of what my deck would look like, uh, so let me show you my deck. So this is how my deck look guys at the moment, so as you can see I've got Summoner of Illusion so that it can summon um, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Uh, then I got the Sphere Karibo. Sphere Karibo is an awesome card. Um, when I high at, when a card's about to attack you, you can use this card and then instantly change it to defense position. So if you want to attack you, just change to defense position straight up. But you, you have to you have to make sure that it's kept in your hands. Uh, if you put it into the field, then I don't think it activates its effect. I'm not, I might be wrong though. So yeah, I love this card, Silver uh, Sphere Karibo. Then I got this card. Where was this card? There you go. This is the card. Wow, this card is amazing, guys. Let me tell you why. When this card destroys a monster by battle and it sends it to the graveyard, it gains the life points equal to the defense of the monster it destroyed. So let's just say the opponent you destroyed had 600 defense. When you destroy it, you ended up you end up getting 600 life points added to your accumulated total already. So if you start at 4,000, which is the highest, you get 4,600. So that's amazing, guys. I tried him out. He's amazing. Um, yeah, so this is how it all looks. So let me show you. So Summoner's Illusion, Sphere Karibo, Dweller in the Depths. He's really good. I have this card so that I can just draw one card. Flame Ogre looks good. Sword Hunter, Guardian Trice, Shadow Gold. He's he's extremely good because depend on depending on how many cards are in the graveyard, he gains 100 attack from it. So if you say there's five cards in the graveyard, he'll get 200 2,100 attack. So he's really good. That's why I have him. Uh, Reap of the cards. He's got extremely high defense, so he comes in very handy for me. Flame Spirit Ignis. He's really good. Elemental Doom is one probably one of my favorite cards uh, from the deck as of this moment. Just for just because of what it does, um, that's why I have a few of them. I know I've got the Royal Knight again, and obviously Kaiba's deck, Blue Eyes Ultimate, Blue Eyes White Dragon. I mean, not Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Uh, amazing, amazing card. Hits, attacks like a boss. Okay, this card. I've got to tell you guys, this card is probably one of the most overpowered cards in the rare section right now. Like I've seen this guy, this guy, this guy's stats are higher than some SRs or even you was. So that's pretty amazing. He's probably an un, he's an, a really good card that I've seen a lot of people use. So yeah, I've, I have him on the deck. I have Cosmo Queen, then Twin-Headed Fire Dragon, and Megami, Megami, not Megami. What the hell, Megami? <laughs> Sorry about that. King of Yummy Makai. Hit. Hitosu Me Giant, um, 
Yeah, he's decent. He's decent. He's not bad. One eyed shield dragon. Uh, I keep him for the defense, of course. Um, burst stream of destruction. Yeah, as uh, when blue eyes ultimate blue eyes white dragon is in the field, um, he can destroy all the monsters in your opponent's field. But your blue eyes ultimate or your blue eyes white dragon cannot attack on that turn. So once this once that card this card is activated, it can destroy all the monsters that are out in that field. But Blue Eyes White Dragon cannot attack the card once this card is activated. But it's still a pretty good card in a pretty good situation. White Elephant's Gift. This is a really good um, card. If you, um, if you guys have a card that's not that useful in the field, you can send this uh, send that one to the graveyard and draw two cards, hopefully getting something good. Twin Swords of Flashing Light Trice. Uh, I use this so that I can summon the Guardian Trice. Banner of Courage, of course. 200 attack during your battle phases. Mask or Dispel, really good card. And block attack, when it's about to attack my cards, I can put it to uh, block gets attack and change it to defense position. And vice versa, I've got the defense position and put it in attack. Rime, uh, decrease your opponent's life points by 300 points. Magic Jammer. When a spell when a spell card is activated, discard one card in the gate that activations. If you do, destroy it. And Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. To you know, I've got him. I got him with the Ultimate Rising packs. He's he hit. This guy's too OP, guys. This guy's too OP. I've got to say it right now. Great Mammoth for Goldfine. He's decent. He's not bad. And to finish off, Skelgon, the Snake Hair Black Clan Fire Dragon. And obviously, Summoner's Evolution. He comes back from the start. So that's how my deck looks like right now. If you guys have any improvements on how to, if you guys have any advice on how to improve my decks, then please tell me, guys. I'm not exactly the best in Yu-Gi-Oh, but I do try my best. Um, so yeah, guys. I think I'm gonna leave this right here. Let me, let me, let me see. I'm gonna leave it with something good. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it right here. So I'm gonna leave this, leave it like this. So thank you so much for watching this Yu-Gi-Oh video, guys. I know it's been a while. I'll uh, try to make more Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Links videos in the future. If you guys did like this video, though, smash that like button, comment, share, do all those good things, so you get to see more content than me doing Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Links. However, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button so that you won't miss a single video from my channel, guys. Whether it's gaming videos or whether it's reaction videos. So this is your boy Dino signing out. Sorry about that. And as always, have a nice day, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video.